Thank you very much for the kind introduction and uh, I'm delighted to join uh, all of you here tonight and I will go through some acknowledgements but I note also that there was a substantial wait list uh, for tonight's event which I think is a credit to the attitude of all Australians uh, in, under very difficult circumstances. But I would like to acknowledge the Imams and any other religious leaders in the room. Our hosts are Ahmed Keskin, um, the Executive Director of the Australian Intercultural Society uh, and his uh, board. Uh, members of Federal Parliament. Now, I can't name you all because I actually don't have a list, but how about you stand up? Stand up. I'm an old school teacher, so you know, we, we use this tactic quite often. There's only two. I thought there were more. Peter Khalil has disappeared early. He must have had a plane to catch. Thank you very much. Uh, Honourable Bruce Atkinson, President of the um, Legislative Council, uh, and a very good friend of our multicultural communities, has an enormous amount of work to, that he does with uh, the Consular Corps in particular, but also in this space. So great to see you here. Robin Scott, my, my, my colleague, has had to leave early. He, he does have some per, uh, personal family uh, matters um, that have taken him away prematurely. Uh, members of the State Parliament, and there are many. Now, I'd like you to stand up and make yourself known. Don't be shy. Come on. There was one missing on that back table. That was Nina Springle. I think she's gone home early, has she? <laughs> Teachers never miss any details. <laughs> Members of the, uh, of the Consular Corps, there are many. Would you like to stand up? <laughs> it's not roll call, exactly. OK, well, thank you for being here. Thank you very much for being here. We won't ask members of the judiciary to, to stand up, but we note their attendance, uh, as well as um, mayors and councillors. I'm, I'm not sure how many there are, uh, but certainly the city of Melbourne is represented. And uh, great to see you here today as a great friend of uh, multicultural communities. Uh, VMC commissioners and chair are here uh, as well. Former governors, uh, De Kretzer and Gobbo, both here. Great to see you. Um, uh, along for, for this particular uh, and a very important event. A great representation from our Victorian and Federal Police, uh, hopefully here as guests to enjoy dinner than any other capacity. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, but most of all, so many friends of the multicultural communities and community leaders. It's great to see you here rallying together. Uh, and I see some old friends. Um, and could I say to all of those who, um, who are Muslims, could I uh, celebrating Ramadan, could I say assalam alaikum. I'm delighted to join you here. Uh, uh, somebody said it was the 16th iftar dinner. I thought it was 13th, um, but we'll get to the bottom of that. We may have a parliamentary inquiry. <laughs> it is a tribute to the work undertaken by the Australian Intercultural Society in promoting uh, an understanding of Islam multiculturalism and social cohesion. And uh, as often um, the point is made that we should never allow ourselves to be defined by the media, um, but certainly um, make sure that we're defined by our actions. And I think the AIS is very positively defined by all of the wonderful things that it has done in this particular space. The socially cohesive society that we're, we are in in this state and nation is evidenced, I think, by the at attendance here today. Robin Scott mentioned the levels of um, government represented here, a federal, state, uh, local, the community uh, sector, uh, and uh, our various other institutions. Uh, You've come together as people of goodwill to share in food and prayer during the holy month of Ramadan. Now, some of you didn't pray, but you did bow out of respect. It's very sad indeed uh, that um, tragedy um, has overshadowed many of these occasions. And it, it is a time to remember those who have been struck by tragedy and are victims of terrorism. The fear, the anguish, the sadness, uh, certainly strike at the heart of a peaceful coexistence in a democracy where the rights of all to follow one's religious beliefs and live by our values are protected by the laws of this land. There is no reasoning which can be accepted for the taking of innocent lives. And there is no humanity in, um, if we cannot share in that sorrow when innocent life is taken, no matter how insignificant it, that life may seem and how quickly buried in the psyche of our human civilization. And how can we share in the grief which accompanies the loss of loved ones or the loss of innocent lives of children and young people who have barely begun their lives, to live their lives, if we cannot talk, if we cannot cry, if we cannot eat a meal together? We're all here to show how, how lives which understand the value of our common humanity can come together in friendship and respect 
to share in this iftar dinner during the holy month of Ramadan. Tonight's evening highlights the significance of sharing a meal, traditional food and prayer, to deepen friendships, broaden our understanding and strengthen our respect for the cultures and faiths of others. Ramadan is a month which focuses on increased spirituality, we could all do it with a bit of that, and positive behaviour through observance of five pillars of Islam, the framework of the Muslim life being the testimony of faith, prayer, giving, fasting during the holy month and a pil pilgrimage to Mecca at least once in your lifetime if you can get there. So I ask that each and every one of us reflects on the state of our world, the loss of innocent lives and how each and every one of us can use our religion to make the world a better, a safer place in which we can accept each other's differences while respecting each other's right to their own values, to their right to live in safely, in, in safety and freedom and to enjoy the opportunities we all enjoy. The Australian Intercultural Society needs to be commended for their work in promoting interfaith understanding in our community, including organise, organising events such as this iftar dinner, to bring our diverse communities together, to promote and strengthen Victoria's socially cohesive society. Never is there a greater need than now to make sure that we protect and defend the gains we've made as a multicultural society. Most of us have come from somewhere. A society that we have all contributed to make, to building, strengthening as migrants, changing the shape and face of Australia, but at the same time building on its strengths. And we can all proudly call ourselves Australians whilst still continue to practise our faiths, um, remember our languages, follow our traditions, and be indeed very proud Australians. So to all of those who celebrate Ramadan, uh, best wishes. Thank you for the opportunity of co-hosting and enjoying this very important occasion. But most of all, thank you to all of you who've made the effort to be here to show that what we stand for as Australians is worth protecting, is worth uh, standing up for, and indeed, uh, we look forward to these events continuing into the future. Thank you so much and have a great night.